Janowski, Holly Strano, and Maureen Kyle. We have so much to talk about spring cleaning, what to sell, what to get rid of, what to keep. Mo has the breakdown on all of that. And the Browns, our Super Bowl uh, chances have gone up. We'll tell you why in case you've been under a rock somewhere. Uh, but first, hey, we've been on this up and down roller coaster when it comes to temperatures. And remember, you can always chime in. Let us know uh, what you think about the stories we're covering. Let us know your name and where you're watching from in the comment section. We are live on both Facebook and YouTube. But Holly, as I said, we've been on this roller coaster ride up feeling like 80 to degrees last week like it's summer oh now we get today that slap of reality <laughs> right and it's not even reality that's the thing about it is we're going to be cooler today we had beautiful spring weather to start the week monday tuesday sunshine 60s which is normal around 60 degrees today we won't even make it out of the 40s and we're tracking some scattered rain the good news this is pretty short-lived it'll be today Tonight, tomorrow, a very similar kind of setup. And then as we get into the weekend, we'll at least warm into the 50s. Still a little bit below normal for this time of the year, but may I just say this is the perfect day to clean out a closet. <laughs> <laughs> So Holly has really <laughs> loved this story all morning long. I, little well, behind the scenes kind of action. A hate relationship, Daniel. Okay. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Holly's going to leave uh, to do the WTAM forecast. Uh, and I'll let you know why she has this love hate relationship. And because Mo, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, she, we has she has to break it down. She has to break it down. I throw away my closet and uh, everyone have a good day. You and I will FaceTime. We'll FaceTime and clean out closets together, Holly. Okay. okay. So, Mo, um, we've been talking about it in the break, everything. What, yeah. What's going on here? You know, everybody, I, I feel like everybody, maybe you are not one of these people, but a lot of people over the past year, you're stuck in your house, you're looking at your living room, your family room, your closets, and you're thinking, okay, I have the time now and I need to clean this stuff out. Like who hasn't been donating and cleaning things out and tackling projects? Well, we did a 2021 spring refresh clean out series. And one of the things I wanted to really focus on is can you get money for the stuff you're getting rid of? Because, you know, you, you look at a chair or maybe a piece of furniture and you're like, gosh, I just bought this 10 years mm -hmm. ago, but I want something different now. So we talked to a consignment shop owner about what sells and what doesn't. And when you're looking at 80s furniture, maybe something a little outdated from the 90s, it might not sell. <laughs> but if you have something that's, that's a couple years old, no uh, scratches, no dents, you know, like new condition, you can get money for it. So my story is going to go up um, probably, I don't know, give me like 20 minutes to get it put together. So you can it's see- It's on YouTube Judy, right now. Is it? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's on our YouTube channel. Judy, um, who owns Chelsea's Consignment in Westlake, kind of took Been us there. Through. Yep. She knew, she knew Dave. She knows my mom. My mom's taking stuff there. She recommends taking pictures. Like if you do want to consign something- She's saving you a hassle. Take a picture, send it to the consignment shop, ask if they're interested before you haul it in your car and take it there. She says the, the afternoons after um, garage sale days, mm -hmm. she has all these cars pull up with junk in their trunk saying, do you want this? And she has to turn people away. So you always have to think like new condition. Would you want to buy it? Um, does it look like, is it still in vogue? She takes some antiques, but really mid-century modern. So if you have some mid-century modern antiques, that kind of stuff is hot at consignment shops right now. Otherwise, you want to look at an antique store. But let's talk about closet for a second, because I, Hallie Abrams, mm -hmm. our fashion expert, she's always awesome to talk to. And I told her, what do we get rid of in the closet? And the, the first series is a no-brainer. She says anything ripped, torn, stained. Uh, just get rid of it. Anything that's too worn out, uh, just toss it out. Just get rid of it. You're not going to wear it again. Then she gave us the freedom of anything that doesn't fit. Mm. Um, I don't know about you guys, Dave. I don't know if, you, if you're like the rest of us females. I have that dress that like still has the tag on it. Like I accidentally bought the wrong size and it's the gold dress. I'm like, Right. I'm going I'm to fit into that. Or like the jeans from a few years ago, maybe we were different sizes and we hang on to them thinking I'm going to get back into those jeans. 
she made the point. Those taunt you all the time. They make you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> Donate them. Get rid of them. Because if you do lose that weight, you deserve to go buy yourself a new pair of pants or the new right. dress. So get rid of it. Um, there's places that you can consign. Um, I was asking her about her favorite consignment shops. And she says that it just depends. There's a couple that that will recycle that will donate to some good causes, like donate the clothes, clothing to some good causes. So do your research before you do that. I personally, I've used the website thread up that they send you a bag, you send it to them. They go through what can sell and then they donate um, or they recycle the rest of it. Um, and then I asked her like, what trend would you throw out? This is what Ooh. Holly got upset about. <laughs> Um, I said, what trend would you throw out for 2021? And she said, the big, chunky wedge Ooh. sandal. So the one with like roping around it and like the wooden wedge heels, she says, those are out. You want the chunky square heel that has some space in between uh, because she said that that is more flattering for your entire leg. So so Holly was like, great, I have to throw out 70% of my shoes because in case you've never seen Holly in person, she is, she is a tiny little one and she needs to have some height to her. So I think that's what she was upset about. She said, oh, Hallie also said, keep your Birkenstocks and a worn in cowboy boots and throw Jasmine. out any shoes that <laughs> Jasmine. I'm, do like, you have? I'm like, shoes? I know. Like, yep. Shoes. Yeah. So there's the shoes. So there, those type, but I see those all over the place still being sold. I just but never she says those like are out. Those I never like those shoes ever. No. Jasmine, yeah, Holly wear, like, yeah, so Holly was upset because if you know how, like I see her every day, she wears them because she says they're comfortable. Yeah, um, they and comfortable. so that's what she wears, the, the clogs. And she's like, gosh, darn it. I have to get rid of them. It's funny because I saw them in the store and I said, oh, I'm going to get me some. It's summertime. So yeah. it's time for, those you know, are, and no. now she's like, nope, 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 nope. Wait, so Jasmine, you're queen of shoes. Do you have worn in cowboy boots, like just ready to go at a moment's notice? No, but I will tell you guys, Denzel has a pair of cowboy boots and I hate them. Like I yeah. want to throw them away so bad. It's well, like, Denzel is Jasmine's it. boyfriend for those of you who are wondering. Yeah, <laughs> don't see that. Well, geez, Danielle. <laughs> well, people are going to be like, Denzel, who is that? I'm just, <laughs> you've talked about him before. So I'm not, yeah. and you talked about him on air. So <laughs> I'm not like putting your business out there, right? Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah so like he has a pair of shoes that like I don't know I have I'm gonna take a picture of the amount of shoes that I have I really want to donate a lot at least 30 pairs of shoes I have to get out of the house seriously so what size do you wear people can uh put in the comment section I want to size, <laughs> I get rid of 32 pairs so <laughs> I, I don't feel so bad now give me sizes sizes size. size. people might want them Six and a half. I wear a size six and a half. Do you really? Oh, her shoe is so small. Her foot. That is a small shoe. I'm jealous. Hey guys, They're Kathleen. <laughs> Kathleen, she says, I was hoping one of the out of fashion items that could be thrown out were bras. Oh well. Whoa. Dave, sorry. <laughs> Let's talk about it. It's 7 16 in the morning. God. <laughs> Um, no, we did not go there with the fashion trend, but you know, even just yesterday we had the skinny jeans are out and the wide leg are in Hallie told us that weeks ago, we, we did another like spring style refresh. Not if you remember back pants. in February and she was saying, go for the wider leg jean. Yeah. I said, because we need that room for the extra COVID weight that yeah. everybody, <laughs> everybody no, the problem wearing. though, Danielle, the ankles. Is, it's wide. It's, um, the high waisted top. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's like skinny on top, oh, wide no. on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah. helping out with the um, baby pouch. I, so <laughs> we still have to eat vegetables. That I Sorry. still oh, have the, 10 the years Pittsburgh later. Pouch. It's okay. The but bro, I, I really like this story. I really need to clean out my closet. It terrifies me. It haunts me. My closet, when I open the door to find an outfit, I literally picked the same sweaters because I'm so scared to go and Oh, <laughs> no. I know. We we wear only like 10% of what's in our closets, right? Yeah. And then, and That's then what my wife support. always Just says. Goes to the same things. Yeah. 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 Like, Susan, we appreciate you watching from Parma. Good morning to you. Also, Jamie, 
uh, watching from Myers Beach and not wanting to go back oh, nice. to the cold. So but yeah, but not, we have that cold Damien, for the next two days. Bad. Okay, so. one minute left. Dave, sorry, you know, I know you had to sit through the brawl conversation and everything. Oh, that's, <laughs> you know, that, that's what Dave you get had a wolf. house full of women. He knows yeah, so he's used to it. I was completely uh, prepared for this. Trust me. <laughs> no hard feelings. I knew it was. Okay, so, so Dave, you have to school us uh, because yesterday, you know, was Baker Mayfield's birthday and he got a big birthday gift from the Browns. He did. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed we're out of time because I had kind of a lot to talk about with the closets and stuff I've gotten rid of anyway. Now, hopefully the Browns have gotten rid of their non-Super Bowl blues, right? They're hoping this is the last piece of the puzzle. We already think they're contenders, but Jadavian Clowney signs with the Browns. They tried to get him last year. One of the best free agents left out there. Now, here's the thing. The last two years haven't gone so great. He was injured last year, didn't have any sacks with Tennessee. The year before, he had three sacks. But before that, when he was with Houston, this guy was a monster, one of the Mm. best in the league, okay? So he was paired up with J.J. Watt. Now they're thinking pairing him up with Miles Garrett will get that back. He signs a one-year deal worth $8 million, could be up to $10 million. But if everything goes right, Danielle, this guy could be the difference that this defense needs. They've already picked up a lot of good free agents uh, in the secondary. They Mm -hmm. needed someone on the defensive line. They got it with Jadavian Clowney. Even if it doesn't work out, it's not a lot of money really for one year. It's definitely worth the risk. I I want you to go on WKYC.com and um, watch some of what he had to say. His interview yesterday was great. And he talks about how the Browns wanted him and he loves that. So uh, we're excited to have him. Hopefully this works out. No guarantees. We'll see. I was looking at some uh, analysts yesterday and they said we are now in the hunt for the Super Bowl. I know we always say that every year because we're Browns fans and Browns fans. Super Bowl, Super yeah. Bowl, even when we were like zero and 16. Um, I'm but, glad you brought like, that for up. For real, for real. I'm glad you brought that up because that was the one thing I was going to mention that I forgot. The odds in Vegas. We always look to Vegas because they kind of know. I mean, mm-hmm. they, they seem to always be right. But the Browns odds in Vegas went up immediately after they signed him. Right now, they're fourth in the uh, AFC uh, behind uh, Kansas City and uh, Buffalo and, oh, my gosh, I'm forgetting the other one. But uh, they're fourth in you. Oh, Baltimore. Jasmine, we're coming for Pittsburgh. We're coming for oh, Pittsburgh. We're, we passed Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Black and yellow this morning. Say what you want. <laughs> Say what you want. This coat was We're on coming. Purpose. We're ready. We're ready for brown no. season. I, I don't I, I was gonna say, like, you guys better hope you win because his last name is not a good name for yeah. <laughs> oh okay. I get it, Jasper. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for joining in on this on the go. Make sure you put your comments in the comment section, your perspective. What do you think? Are we a Super Bowl contender? Oh, let's hope if Baker Mayfield oh, can continue to about- yes. <laughs> Let's hope that Baker Mayfield can continue to progress and do well. Uh, So we may be talking that. We shall see. Have a great Thursday, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow morning starting at 4.30 on go. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.